Okay, and Volk, just so you're aware, once I get deep into the mine, I'm going to lose contact with you. Yeah, keep searching above ground. I'll come up soon and join you. Okay. Talk to you soon. <gasps> what the? A human? I wasn't aware the age of the caveman was still going on. According to Miko, like all memes, cavemen passed a long time ago. Your temporary home? So where's your real home? I see. You have no home. I've heard of homeless humans before, but most of the time it's either their own fault or the fault of their government. So Agent Fowler rambles on about. Most of the time I don't understand it. What am I? <sighs> to give you the basic spiel, I'm an autonomous robotic organism from the planet Cybertron, also known as an Autobot. I'm fighting in a war against an evil faction known as the Decepticons. <laughs> what do you mean that sounds like I came straight out of 1984? <laughs> yeah. I've never understood the whole human homelessness thing. You look awful young to have been an adult who had control of that. You didn't? I... I don't know what to say. It's just... the humans I know, they all have such good parents. I mean, yeah, Miko complains about hers, but that's because they want the best for her, and Miko doesn't exactly need the best for herself sometimes. But Jack's mom is very caring and attentive, and Raph's parents... Well, there's a lot of kids, and they hardly pay attention to him, but he's got B. You don't have to tell me what your parents did to you. Abuse is something that isn't easily disclosed to anyone. It takes trust to open your mind up to that kind of information. Because I've been through a lot, that's why. How old are you, anyway? Only 14 years old? That's really young. You clearly had a lot going on in your house. I'm... I'm sorry. I... I wish I could help you, I just... I don't know how. We don't have babies on Cybertron. One is usually just born of the Well of All Sparks, and then they're given a job. At least that's how it was before the war, anyway. In fact, ironically, the guy we're fighting is once a guy who was trying to prevent that. He didn't want a caste system. Yeah? Sounds a lot like Steven Universe. <laughs> I watched that show with Jack, Miko, and Raph. The songs in it are very pretty. I like that Garnet character. She reminds me a lot of me. Although, I wish I could be as stoic as she was sometimes. I think she forgets that she has emotion. But I think much like my leader, she turns off her emotions for the purposes of caring for her family. That's very noble of her. I wish I could do it.
I often find myself singing that song, Here Comes a Thought. I get overwhelmed very easily, and that song kind of always helps comfort me. You look like you need a lot of comfort. When was the last time you had any human food? Days? As far as I was concerned, humans can only go a few hours before they're hungry again. Or, in Miko's case, about a half an hour before she's going back to either the soda machine or the snack one. No, Cybertronians don't really have snacks. We mainly consume Energon to survive. It's not only our ammunition and lifeblood, but it's also our fuel. I'm sorry if that sounds weird. Listen, I want you to know that no matter what you're going through, there will always be someone to help you. I honestly don't know if it can be me, but because you know about us now, I do have to take you back to base. <laughs> I guess we are kind of a rebel command, aren't we? No, I don't know that reference. I'm sorry. Oh, that's what that's from. I always get so confused by Star Wars. Why on earth did they do, like, 4, 5, and 6 before 1, 2, and 3? I, I don't know. I try to get into human stuff, but then Miko loses me at the third cat meme. Hey! I'm not uneducated just because I'm confused by cat memes. Actually, I already have someone. His name is Jack. That's why you look so familiar. You go to school with him. Do you know him well? I see. He's a nice guy. I guess he can be kind of boring. You're starting to sound an awful lot like Miko. Honestly, I don't know if we can take you in. But, considering you live close to Jack, Miko, and Raph, maybe you could be someone else who's willing to keep the secret with them. I warn you, they have experienced traumas of war. Unintentionally, of course. You'll experience a lot with the Autobots. But just know that either myself, or anyone else of us will be here to guide you if you need it. I promise you. You know what? You seem to be awfully comforted by music, correct? I'm a little rusty on the Steven Universe songs, but there's one from Adventure Time that really sticks with me. It's called Everything Stays. You heard of it? You wish someone would sing it to you? I'll sing it to you. <clears throat> Please, if I'm horrible, you are free to run away and never talk about me again. Okay, here goes. Let's go to the garden, you'll find something waiting, right there where you left it, lying upside down. When you finally find it, you'll see that it's faded, the under 
side is lighter when you turn it around. Everything stays right where you left it. Everything stays, but it still changes ever so slightly, daily and nightly, in little ways. Everything stays. You liked it? <laughs> Thank you. I've never actually sung it before except in my head. It annoys the hell out of Ratchet. Ratchet is... Ratchet's the grandpa. Optimus is like the big dad. Bumblebee is like the little brother. Bulkhead... Bulkhead's that sweet uncle who always brings you a treat. I know enough about Earth family dynamics to understand. Plus, that's how Miko put it to, well, herself. While we were all talking one day. You know what? I think we can go ahead and take you in. No, it's not just because you complimented me. I really do care about you. I promise. Here. You want to hop on? I was supposed to be scouting for Energon, but somehow I feel like I found something far more important. Come on. Let me take you to your new home. Oh, excuse me. 